Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 51st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to see how we can create users uh, in the MySQL environment. So, you know, I'm going to use MySQL Workbench again to create uh, a new user account. Uh, but I'm also going to show you how you can create a user in PHP My Admin. So, in fact, you know, let's start with the PHP My Admin. So, you know, I have uh, PHP My Admin open here in my browser and uh, I'm going to find the users tab in the menu and uh, when I click on it I see an option to add a user over here right so you have to click on that and then you have to type in a name for your user so let's say you want to call it uh, TBD you know just type in that and uh, then you also have to type in a password so you know uh, let the password be hello and uh, you know I'll have to retype the password so I'll type in uh, hello again and uh, then here it's going to ask me you know what kind of privileges I want this user to have so you know if you want this user to have all privileges you know then just check this box which is grant all privileges on wildcard you know this and uh, you know also check uh, this box you know global privileges so you know once you do that you would see that all these uh, you know commands that you see you know this person would be able to you know th this user would be able to execute all of these commands on you know all the databases uh, all the schemas you know with the server right so when you do this you know when you've done this just uh, click on go to create the user and you would see here that you've added a new user and uh, you know you would also find it here uh, in the users overview section you would find an entry for tbt and you would see that global privileges show that it you know this user's got all privileges right so if you want to do a similar thing in um, my sql workbench what you need to do is you need to go to the navigator section and under management you would uh, find users and privileges so you just click on that and uh, then you you know you can see the user accounts that are there so let's say you want to drop this user now so you know just uh, select it and uh, you know you could either revoke all privileges you could also manage the privileges if you want you could change the password you know you could expire the password and you know uh, maybe set a new one or uh, you know you could just delete this uh, account so if you want to do that you know then uh, at the bottom you will see the option to delete you know just click on that button and uh, you will get a warning message that the account will be permanently removed and you know a lot of times it happens that when you create a user account in MySQL you also associate that account with uh, a database you know and uh, when you remove that account you know naturally the database would also be removed right so you have to be careful uh, you know while uh, adding users and also uh, removing users and particularly while adding users you know because you don't want to give people uh, access unnecessarily to certain databases that you have and uh, you know that's where you have to be careful so anyway I want to remove this or I just want to show you how to remove a uh, user so I'm going to click on drop and when I do that I see uh, I don't see TBD uh, anymore in my user list and uh, that's how you create users or delete users right so uh, that's it for this tutorial I'm going to see you in the next one in which we'll uh, continue our discussion on MySQL hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you in the next video till then take care